So how much do physical therapists make? Well, that's a great question because when you were looking up this career as a physical therapist, one of the first things you probably looked into very quickly after you found out about PT was how much do they make? And that's a great question. So we're gonna get into it in this video. So let's talk about money. What's up guys, my name is Casey Coleman, I'm a physical therapist and the co-founder of Pre-PT Grind and on this video, we're going to be talking about money. How much do physical therapists make? Because once you found out you wanted to do physical therapy or maybe you're interested in it now, you're like, well, how much can I expect to make? Is this a career that's going to be worth it for me to get into and, and all that stuff? And that is a great question. Because when choosing a career, whether you're on the younger side or you're in a career change or you just started a family, wherever you are, you have to take this into account. Finances, money, all that stuff is a big uh, portion of that decision when you're choosing a career. So I'm glad you have this question and, and I'm glad you're here. So now getting into the numbers, getting into the explanation of how physical therapists get paid. There's really, there's really two factors, two big factors that factor into why salaries vary so much, like other healthcare professions. So if pre-PTs are fortunate enough to get told a lot of this stuff, a lot of them aren't, they're not really explained, uh, they don't really get the explanation as to why these numbers exist and why there is a variation. They're just told, or you guys are just told, oh, they make this much or don't expect to make that much or you can make this much and it's just kind of left there if again you are fortunate enough to be even told that right so with these with these ranges the two big things that factor into this is location of course where you live because cost of living then the setting that you choose to work in so if you didn't know already physical therapists don't just work in an outpatient traditional clinic setting Right, that's usually what people think of with physical therapy or sports, or sports. So they just, they're just not in those two lanes. They can work in school settings, they can work in their own private practice, they can work uh, in a specialized practice with women's health, they can work with pediatrics in a hospital, they can specialize with spinal cord injuries, um, they can be in administration, they can be in politics with the APTA, the list goes on and on and on, which is a beautiful thing about physical therapy. And because of those settings and, and how they differ, the main, or again, sorry, one of the big reasons as to why the pay is different uh, in especially those clinical settings is how insurance, whether insurance from the government, like Medicare or Medicaid, or commercial insurance reimburses or pays for physical therapy service. So you know when you go to the dentist or the physician or anything like that, you most likely use your insurance card. Or if you're still under your parents' insurance, you use their insurance card. And with that insurance card, your parents aren't necessarily paying that bill directly. They're paying the insurance. Then the insurance is then paying the provider, the healthcare provider, right? So in a lot of traditional settings, the insurance is dictating what the provider is getting paid. Now, that's a whole different topic. If I need to go into that and make another video, I will. There's, it's a lot, it's a lot. So just, just understand that part. That's what you need to understand. So with the insurance, they dictate what they wanna pay or kinda, there's kind of a contract, but let's leave it at that. So the insurance pays the physical therapist and based on different settings, if they're in the outpatient setting, the insurance will pay a certain amount for certain act for certain interventions if they are in the skilled nursing facility they could pay a different amount if they're in the home health setting they can pay a different amount so on and so forth so on and so forth so that is one of the factors that sway and dictate how much physical get uh, physical therapists get paid in different settings okay so just keep that in your mind you don't have to know all the details and specifics right now if you do have questions comment below if i don't have the answers i can Make sure I tag someone else who knows more than me in these answers to get that answer for you, okay? So that's why you're gonna see such a big variance in these numbers. So now, I'm taking these numbers from UpDoc Media, from UpDoc Media, and this is their job 
market pulse. So I'll make sure I put a link in the description for you guys to go there and get it and download it because if you're a pre-PT or even an SPT or whatever, this is a great resource. They've been putting this together for years now and their data is just absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So uh, make sure you get that. Link is in the description and download the Job Market Pulse from UpDoc Media. Or you can just Google UpDoc Media Job Market Pulse. So that's where I'm taking these numbers from. I'm not just pulling them out of thin air. So if there's anybody watching this and you're like, no, they don't make this much, or no, that's too much. You shouldn't be telling pre-PTs this, blah, blah, blah. Like, just let me do the video. Just let me do the video. Don't don't kill me. I, I don't know if you guys as pre-PTs knows, but uh, sometimes I don't know why it's like this. A lot of people get sensitive around money and salaries. And if you say the wrong number based on what this one person get paid gets paid, they they go off. So just let me do the video. Take these numbers as they are. Do your own research, and they can vary. They can vary. Just know that. So I'll put. I'll start putting the video up there, and let's get into it. So with this data, with this data, you can first see. I'm first going to do the merged aggregate data. Uh, aggregate data, and you can see there the median salary that uh, physical th uh, physical therapists get paid, or the average salary of what physical therapists get paid. And as you can see, that standard deviation is huge. The standard deviation is huge, meaning it deviates, it variates a huge amount. So yes, that is the uh, middle number, but you could get paid a lot more. You could get paid less. That just means it varies based on location, setting. Unfortunately, if you're a new grad or not, doesn't mean that you have to get paid lower if you're a new grad. That's a whole nother topic as well. But just keep in mind that deviation. Okay. And you'll see more of that as we go into specifics. So now, as we do get into those specifics, let's scroll down. So in acute care, meaning the hospital, meaning the hospital, base salary, 77K, around there, 77.7K with a standard deviation of 13K, $13,000 crazy crazy inpatient rehab meaning uh, stroke patients meaning spinal cord injuries this is mainly like neuro patients for the most part there are other patients in there but these are your intense uh, heavily heavily involved patients that need rehab around the clock kind of thing so that is 92 K give or take with a 21,000 standard deviation assisted living like a skilled nursing facility type of thing. 72K with a standard deviation of 10K. In the school setting, 79K. Standard deviation of $25,000. Crazy. Home health, 94K on average with a standard deviation of $18,000. Now, hospital outpatient, $86,000 with a standard deviation of $14,000. Now, getting into the most common setting, or the most traditional setting that people think of, the outpatient setting. $77,000 with a standard deviation of $42,000. Standard deviation of variance of $42,000. Yeah, crazy, crazy. So when you see these numbers, when somebody tells you something, don't get too discouraged and don't get too uh, elated when you hear a number because as you can see, those numbers vary a lot. Then you have pediatrics, 77,000 with a $19,000 uh, deviation. Pediatric home health, 112 with a standard deviation of 11,000. Travel physical therapy, 113,000. Outpatient clinic director. This is getting into management positions. This is the traditional outpatient setting as a clinic director. $90,000 with a standard deviation of $18,000. Now, I'm also gonna add in here PTA salaries. For those of you who are kinda in between, like, oh, I don't know, should I do PTA uh, or should I do PT? Should I do PTA first, then maybe do PT later? Or I don't know which one's a better return on investment. This is good for you to know as well. So for PTAs, inpatient, uh, inpatient uh, uh, rehab, or, or just inpatient, let's just stay with inpatient, $58,000. Home health, 
as a PTA, $85,000 with a standard deviation of $6,000. Outpatient, $54,000, a standard deviation of $9,000. Pediatrics, $51,000. Then your skilled nursing facilities, um, $64,000, standard deviation of $9,500. So that's what I meant when I said it varies a lot. I wasn't playing, I wasn't paying, uh, playing. So just keep in mind that why these deviate so much are based on a lot of factors. I just mentioned two big ones, the location, of course, because of cost of living, then the settings because of how insurance pays and reimburses. There's a lot of stuff that goes into that as well. It could be things like how much you negotiate, what your productivity level is, what your travel contract is, if you have a travel contract, how much you know about billing and insurance. The list just, the list just goes on and on. How, how long you've been practicing for some. for some it, Now with that, that doesn't necessarily always make sense because once you have a license, you have a license. And just because you have a PT license for 20 years versus two weeks, doesn't mean insurance bills a 20 year license more. A license is a license. A 20 year license isn't more valuable on the dollar amount. Now, is it more valuable with experience? Yeah, of course it could be, it could be. And does experience play a lot into patient care? Yes, of course, absolutely. But if we're going strictly on dollar amount, it doesn't necessarily get paid more specifically. So um, don't be discouraged like, oh, these are numbers on average. If I'm a new grad, I won't get paid that much. Uh, more or I'll be on the lower end. Maybe you could, but you don't have to succumb to that. You don't have to succumb to that. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So I hope this opened up your eyes as to what the salaries are for physical therapy. Remember, go to UpDoc Media Job Market Pulse. I'll put that link in the description or just Google UpDoc Media Job Market Pulse and download all their stuff from the Job Market Pulse and see these numbers uh, from all the years they've been doing this because this is just amazing. More pre PT should know about this, should know about this. We are not afraid to talk about money at all here at Pre PT Grind, whether it's about salaries or student debt or the cost of PT school or how you should be thinking about finances because you guys are the future of the profession. We don't want you guys to love this and have all these high dreams and high hopes, then get into the profession and hate it or regret your decision, not because of physical therapy, but because of this money stuff. So it's very important for us to address it and make sure you guys are in the know. So I hope that opened up your mind uh, to salaries and what the numbers are out there right now. So share this, tag a friend, comment, like, subscribe, subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed. We will see you on the next video.